Hello everybody, me again, Andrea Majewski with Dental Health Tutoring. So I just did a, um, a video where I talked about the self-care that I do as a dental hygienist and what has helped me. I'm not sore, I'm feeling pretty good. So I thought, hey, let's uh, share some of my tips, right? Um, and I talked about um, disability insurance as one of them. I do talk about a lot. So if you haven't seen the video um, yet, be sure to watch that because I talk about my massage appointments, my, my um, loops, proper ergonomics, all kinds of things. But people have been asking more about the disability insurance. So let me kind of shed some light on that a little bit. So I got disability insurance as soon as I became a dental hygienist. I have always been one where insurance to me is very important because I've known so many people that, you know, don't have life insurance. They don't have disability insurance, but then something happens where they can't work. Like I just know all kinds of things. Okay. So I wanted to protect myself. So um, at the time, I had hired a financial advisor for some other things because I have owned my tutoring business now for 13 years. So I was kind of looking into that. But um, this person also um, advises and looks into other things for me. So they looked into disability insurance with, with um, other insurance companies. So they picked three of the best choices for me. You know, there is a lower policy, like a medium plan and a high plan, right? Depending on how much I want it covered. So that takes takes all of the hard work from me from calling and calling and calling insurance companies. You know, they do the hard work for you. You pay them for that, but it's totally worth it. Trust me. So I had hired um, him to do that. And I, I ended up, you know, getting disability insurance where I have a plan where if I don't use my disability insurance, so if I don't claim it, then I will get half of the money that I put into it back when I turn 65. And if I don't claim it, meaning if I'm not injured, hopefully, knock on wood, knock on wood, um, I will get half of that back. Yes, it's not all of it. Um, I'm still technically losing money, if you want to put it that way. But what if I do get injured? I will have insurance to ensure I'm still making money, right? Um, so I signed up for that plan. You pay a little bit more, but it made sense to me because if I'm lucky and don't get injured, I want some money back, right? That would be amazing. Um, another part of that plan though that I signed up for um, was that if I got injured and couldn't be a dental hygienist, I, I could claim that for um, disability and, and still get paid um, using disability insurance, but I would still be allowed to work elsewhere. So as you guys know, obviously I do own a tutoring company. So let's just say I didn't sign up for that um, plan and I needed disability insurance. That would not allow me to tutor anymore. I could, but I wouldn't be allowed to get paid or I could obviously still get paid, but not be able to claim the disability insurance. So why would I pay into something that I wouldn't be able to claim anyway? So again, I paid a little bit more to sign up for that part of the plan that allowed me that if I can't work as a dental hygienist, because I'm injured in some way, um, I could claim that disability insurance, but also work as a tutor. So I could still tutor online and make money that way too. So there's different parts of the plan that you want to look into, okay? Um, the disability insurance plans don't always cover everything. Some of them do, some of them don't. I believe I signed up for, for like the middle plan, where as an example, if I get cancer, knock on wood, and I can't work, it would cover me. Um, if for some reason I got HIV or, or AIDS and couldn't work, it would not cover me for that because I decided to opt out of that. Um, getting HIV AIDS is rare. I'm not high risk. I didn't feel that that was necessary for me. It might be for you, right? So different plans, they're so different, okay? Do your, do your research. Ask your advisor to explain everything to you because, oh my gosh, it was very overwhelming. But there are different plans out there. I highly recommend disability insurance. Now for me now, I've had the insurance for... I guess not when I first became a hygienist, because I've only had it for about five years, I think. But the advisor that I signed up for, he, he, he no longer works at that company. He was amazing. He no longer works at that company, and he kind of passed me on to his coworker, 
who hasn't called me. I've tried to call them to ask questions about my plan to make sure it's still okay. Nothing, okay, nada. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I do pay per year, so I know it's there. <laughs> but I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not just paying for something that, who knows, I need to check up on that, whatever. But I pay about $300 a year. It might be closer to $400 a year. But to me, that's peanuts, you guys. If that covers me, if I get injured and, and I can make the same income and not be able to work, I think that's huge, 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 okay? But again, please, I'm not an advisor. I can't advise you on what way to go. But what I can say is to get disability insurance. I'm not being paid to promote this. Um, uh, sorry, the webcam just got really blurry. I think it's because I'm moving too much. But I'm not being paid to promote this. I can't recommend you to anybody because I don't really like mine right now because he's not returning my phone calls. But um, honestly, it's the best thing to do. I've known so many hygienists, so many, at least 10, where they get injured at work, they can't work, they don't have disability insurance. If they break a leg, knock on wood, they can't work, they don't have disability insurance. So they're off work for who knows how long. They can claim EI, but that's it. You can get a lot more with disability insurance. So there's many different avenues. I'm not an expert, but I am so glad that I have my disability insurance. Um, I don't even like to tell people what company I'm with because I don't want to advertise for them. I really don't. Like, I don't want you guys to hear what company I'm with and then sign up with them. They're not paying me, so hey, come on, right? But look into it. Hire an advisor and they can help you out with all of that, okay? Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Any advice for me, hey, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.